Dear students, today I will be taking up people as resource. And in this particular chapter, I will be first taking up the meaning of resource, types of resources and importance of human resource. So meaning of resource. Resources can be anything which we use to satisfy our needs or wants. For example, say soil, for example, say cars, taxis, etc. So there are three types of resources. What are they? They are natural resource, human made resource and human resource. Natural resources. Natural resources are those resources which we get from the nature and we use it without much more modification. For example, you can give the example of soil, you can give the example of water in the river, lakes, etc. Then comes human made resource. People use different natural resources to make buildings, to make bridges, to make roads, machineries, vehicles, etc. And these are made by man for various uses. Therefore, they are known as human made resources. Human resource. Human resource refers to the number that is quantity, that is population and their ability. When I say ability, it includes both mental and physical of the people. We call it human resource. So why is human resource important? Population of a country is an asset of the country. Why is it important? First point, when the population of the country is being given education facilities, training facilities, medical facilities, then it becomes human capital. So when I say human capital, it refers to the stock of skill and productive knowledge which is inside the human being. Skill, skill is what? Skill is the ability to do something well. Second, human resource shows its ability to contribute to the creation of gross national product or roughly you can say national income. So what is a gross national product? Gross national product, it refers to all economic output produced by a nation's normal residents when they are whether they are located within the national boundary or abroad that we call it gross national product next point is education training and healthcare facilities they all added to the quality of labor force if the quality of labor force is being increased then it will enhance their productivity and when their productivity is enhanced, then it will definitely contribute to economic growth. The next point is human capital is superior to other forms of resources like uh, land, physical capital. As human resource, they can make, make, use, make use of land and capital, whereas land and capital, they cannot make use of themselves. The next point is Society indirectly gains uh, because the advantage of more educated or a healthier population spreads to those who themselves uh, who were not directly educated or given healthcare facilities. So society also gains from the development of human resource. See, we need to improve the quality of people's skill and improving the quality of people's skill to, to create, to be able to create more resources, we call it human resource development. And human resource development is so much important that the government of India created a separate ministry called HRD ministry, that is human resource development ministry in 1985. For what purpose? To improve people's skill. 
So for the development of the economy, we have to improve the quality of human resource. Let us take the example of Japan. Oh, Japan is also known as the land of rising sun. See, they did not have any resource of their own. They imported from other countries. However, their government invest in the field of education, in the field of training and healthcare facilities. And see, today their efficiency, their technology evolved by their people have made these countries rich or developed. Thank you.